Greetings for the day dear students. This is my third lecture on the topic alkaloid and today I will discuss the constitution or the structure of nicotine. Nicotine is the most important and widely distributed of the tobacco. It is one of the most toxic, toxic alkaloids known. A fatal dose for man being about 40 milligrams. Other tobacco alkaloids are nicotine, nor nicotine, and nicotyrin, etc. The latter one is responsible for aroma of tobacco smoke. The chief alkaloid of tobacco plant that is nicotina tobacum. It occurs in the plant leaves as salt of malic acid and citric acid to the extent of 4 to 5 percent. It was named after the Frenchman Nicot who introduced tobacco in France in 1560. Nicotine is colorless laboratory liquid. Its boiling point is 246 degrees centigrade but its salts are texturatory. It becomes darkened on exposure to air due to auto oxidation. Nicotine is miscible with water in all proportions at temperature below 60 degree. It is a very deadly poison. 30 to 50 milligram dose of nicotine when taken orally kills a man within a few seconds owing to paralysis of the nervous system including the respiratory control centers. There is a lot of evidence that smoking of cigarettes increases the heartbeat and thus causes constriction of blood vessels with the result of blood pressure is increased and hence the blood distribution is disturbed. Nicotine is in large amount is used as an insecticide and in the preparation of nicotinic acid and niacin. Now we will discuss its structure. Its molecular formula is C10H14N2 which is uh, ascertained with the help of elemental analysis and molecular weight determinations. Second point is as we see its molecular formula contains two nitrogen atoms. So next point is to decide the uh, nature, functional nature of the nitrogen atoms. It has been observed that the two nitrogen atoms are tertiary in nature. Both the nitrogen atoms are found to be present as, as tertiary because nicotine takes up two molecules of methyl iodide to form a dimethyodide. Under suitable conditions, it also forms two isomeric monomethyodides. One of the tertiary nitrogen atoms is found to be N-methyl group. Third point is we have to prove that nicotine is three substituted pyridine. Nicotine on oxidation gives nicotinic acid which is pyridine 3 carboxylic acid indicating that nicotine is three substituted pyridine as we can see in this reaction. By subtracting the molecular formula of a substituted pyridine that is C5H4N from the molecular formula of nicotine which is C10H14N2, it is obvious that the side chain at position 3 is C5H10N. So the formula of nicotine may be written as indicated in this figure. Fourth point is the position and nature of the side chain is to be established. This we can uh, ascertain with the help of a series of reactions. The first being that nicotine absorbs only three molecules of hydrogen to form hexahydro derivative. This suggests that the side chain is saturated. Since three molecules of hydrogen are required by the pyridine molecule of the nicotine as we can see here on reduction it takes up three molecules of hydrogen which are used to saturate the pyridine ring. Second reaction is that since the nitrogen atom in of the pyridine moiety is present as tertiary nitrogen the nitrogen atom of the side chain must possess a methyl group. 
this is confirmed by the fact that when nicotine is treated with concentrated HCl at 150 degree centigrade methyl iodide is formed thus now the side chain having N methyl group can be extended that is C4 H7 NCH3 third point is that nicotine forms an addition product with product named zinc chloride with zinc chloride which on heating with lime gives pyridine pyrrole and methylamine this step clearly indicated that the side chain is pyrrole derivative but we have already pointed out that the side chain is reduced and has n methyl group this n it is n methyl pyrrolidine as it is represented in this reaction that nicotine zinc chloride on heating with lime gives pyridine pyrrole and methylamine now the point of attachment of the side chain that is n methyl pyrrolidine to three position of the pyridine nucleus could be either 2 or 3 that is it can be either alpha or beta thus the side chain of nicotine may be represented in two forms that is in these two structure in which first structure it is attached to the alpha position and in the second uh, structure it is attached to the beta position of the pyrrole moiety the four point is, fourth point is on treatment with methyl iodine, iodide, nicotine hydroiodide gives nicotine isomethiodide, which on oxidation with potassium ferrocyanide followed by dichromate oxidation gives N methyl proline, which is also called hygrinic acid. The formation of N methyl proline suggests beyond doubt that pyrrolidine unit is attached to position 3 of the pyridine nucleus by means of alpha position as it is indicated in this reaction that is the uh, it is treated first with methyl, uh, HI and then with methyl iodide and we finally get an methyl proline or hygrinic acid. Now we see the proposed structure of nicotine on the basis of above point which I have discussed just now it nicotine may be written as below indicated in this rea in the diagram which explains all the reactions of nicotine so the proposed with the help of this proposed structure we can explain all the reactions of nicotine clearly so this is the structure which is proposed for nicotine ex explains two observations which were noticed by or point pointed out by Piner in 1892 and 1893. Piner's first observation was that nicotine on treatment with bromine and acetic acid affords hydrobromide per bromide, which on treatment with H2SO3 is converted to di monoponitine gives 3 acetyl pyridine oxalic acid methylamine on heating with a mixture of H2SO3 H2SO4 at 130 to 140 degree centigrade as it is shown in this reaction. Piner's second observation was that nicotine on treatment with bromine in presence of HBr gives dibromonicotine which on heating with barium hydroxide solution at 100 degree centigrade affords nicotinic acid, malonic acid and methylamine as shown in this reaction. So Piner's two observations also confirm the proposed structure for nicotine and this was also confirmed finally by its an un unambiguous synthesis. Here we have shown the synthesis given by Spath et al. Spath and his co-workers in 1928 the starting compound for synthesis is ethyl niconate and with by following a series of reaction we get the racemic mixture of nicotine. So this is all about the structure of nicotine. Thank you. Have a nice day.